Me and Kabir Bapun Mappu, Tom Tivina Taran Okchari. And today, in a very exclusive interview, we are going to talk with our Honorable Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nazma Akbar Ali Haptula. And uh, it's our really privilege to have her today. Madam, welcome to Times of Manipur. So okay. it's the first satellite channel based in Manipur. I Madam, see. you have been to many parts of India. And yes. India, as you know, is a very diverse country. We have different, different communities, different people, different way of life, different culture. So since you have been toured all over India, how do you feel? What the uniqueness of Manipur? Well, Manipur has its own uniqueness. I mean, in two ways. One is nature. Because it is one of the eighth in the biodiversity in the world. So this is one thing which nature has given. As the climate is good, very good, it's moderate. It's not very hot, it's not very cold. So this is the nature has given to Manipur. Then there are few things which I would like to say about the culture of Manipur. There is a unique culture in Manipur. Now culture doesn't mean just dance, drama and music. Culture means the attitude of the people. People are very good, very cultured people. They are very moderate, soft, very decent people are there. So this is the special characters of uh, Manipur. And Madam, we have seen you wearing different attires of different communities. And uh, we really appreciate that, Madam. Everyone is appreciating that. So how do you find about the ornaments as well as, as the costumes? Well, I like it. It's very beautiful. That is also part of culture. I mean, the funnik they wear, they are different for the Maiti, they are different for the cookies, they are different for the Nagas. And not only Maitis, cookies and Nagas, but within the cookies, within the Nagas, there is so much of variety. And that's also the strength of Manipur's culture. I like the Manipuri dress. I wear it uh, sometime. If I knew you like it so much, I would have worn one. <laughs> but which one I should wear, that's the problem. Because I don't want to be discriminating between one tribe and the other. So, but they, all of them have got very be beautiful, very vibrant colors. And, and especially the, the dance, the classical dance, which is being given the state at all, that Ras Leela, this is uh, one of the unique dance, which is only in this form is, uh, is played over here. So, Madam, we have come across in many interviews of yours that Manipur has lots of uh, resources in terms of human resources, in terms of natural resources. Is uh, there any way that, you know, unemployment problem can be solved through? Yes, of course, the unemployment problem can be solved. The reason was for, for quite some time, there was uh, unrest in Manipur. I won't call it insurgency, I will call it unrest. People were not uh, having um, proper development focus. And then there were bonds and blockades. And because of that, uh, more development suffered. So, unemployment, nobody focused on unemployment. But for sure, the unemployment problem can be solved by the government. I have tried to do something about uh, uh, METAC, which is a kind of, a, it's also documentation of the different art form, different uh, textile which are being documented. And then we can enhance the quality and the, and the, the style of it, use it in a different form, so that uh, possibilities of solving the unemployment could also be there. So there are, in, in Manipur we cannot have a major big industries because of the topography of Manipur. There is, uh, it's most 80% of it is hill area. By small scale industry, food processing industries, it can be done handicraft, uh, household industries, you know, can be done, cottage industry, which they call, they can be created for, for more people to be absorbed into it. 
when and since your uh, academic period and you have been to jamia chancellor and you have been working for the welfare of the women so uh, regarding manipuri women so what can be done in the context of the national scenario as far as women empowerment is concerned i think other people should learn from the manipuri women because uh, manipur has got the women are very empowered over here uh, we have the the world's largest market in the in manipur which is ema market where women are doing commercial activity business trade so i think instead of we learn from something from other states other states should learn something from manipur it is not that that every time we learn the others should also learn from manipur because as uh, far as especially as far as the women are concerned but uh, there is no you know very prominent manipuri politician as women i'm talking about so what can be actually in your point of view be done to actually uh, help manipuri women actually come to the scenario well i'll be very happy if more women get into public life and uh, they can be projected nationally it depends it takes time and you cannot just build a leadership within by overnight the leadership is built from the grassroots but i feel uh, the women of manipur are quite empowered and is no shortage of um a possibility of building a women's leadership we are fortunate today that uh, nda won you know with full public support so uh what do you expect uh, that you know in relation to manipur can manipur actually uh, get better share same government was there before okay. it was uh, narendra modi's uh, government also as they call it the one government now they call second term uh narendra modi's uh, this government was very cooperative they have given a lot of focus on northeast and that was the first thing which uh, prime minister narendra modi talked about was look east and then act east work east these are the things which really they are not slogans but they are really in in reality he meant that more focus should be on the development of the northeast entire northeast which includes manipur also and i have been focusing a lot helping the state government and in seeing that the central government focused on now for example i'll, I'll tell you uh, imphal had no direct flight before from delhi now there are many direct flights every day even air india has got twice a direct flight because otherwise all the flights used to come by guwahati so time was uh, wasted in uh, traveling now the time is short and so more people can come tourism can be developed this is another area where we can solve our unemployment problem so we have got one of the most beautiful lake the biggest lake loktak of the northeast that can be developed into we can have nature uh, trips also people can go and live in the beautiful valleys like kashmir is overrated Manipur is as beautiful as Kashmir. It is. We don't have snow, but otherwise we have very beautiful valleys where people can come and have a tourist attraction. We can create over there. Uh, sports can be developed in the Loktak uh, water sports. We are number one in sports also in all kinds of sports. We are very good in football. We are very good in archery. We are very good. You know. so there is so many opportunities uh, for in manipur and uh, we have full cooperation of the central government we had full cooperation and i'm sure with the new government with the new faces they will focus more on northeast and manipur ma'am uh, you have actually uh, enrolled your voting right over here you have enrolled in the sagomlan constituency here in ward number 24 uh, 
uh, what, what can we consider or what is the message um, Madam would like to convey with this? To the people now? To the people or to the electoral process or you know whatsoever? I think the electoral process was good because we have a democratic process in which everybody is given a chance to try their luck and uh, a government is chosen by the people and it is a government of the people by the people run for the people so that way I think uh, the message is loud and clear the other message I would like to convey to the people is whichever government is here they should cooperate and they should try to focus on their own issues there are many things which people can solve for example uh, the Swachh Bharat which Narendra Modi ji's favorite thing. Now, you have to be clean yourself in attitude that we should not throw garbage on the street. We should try to see that the things are disposed properly so the, the city is clean. We should try to see that more uh, atmosphere, more trees are planted so that we have got uh, um, a greener atmosphere because in the past years a lot of trees have been cut so we have to compensate for it so these are the things which people can themselves participate these are my messages to the people so my public in general and particularly the student community they would like to visit the uh, governor's house Rajvavan to have a look because it's a lifetime opportunity for them to actually see. They are most welcome. Yesterday, 50 children came and they met me, they talked to me, we had an interaction, discussion, very cute children. And then I told them, I said, go to the garden, play over there, see the fish in the pool. So they came. They are not um, barred from here. The only thing is the security reason, the people, the security people have to see that they come properly and then they uh, see the things and go. I have no objection about it. So ma'am, just a little bit going to the politics. So people are talking about the CAV right now. So what can actually uh, be the problem or how, how it can be solved according to uh, your point of view, madam? Some people find it controversial. Now it is for the people to decide what could be done about it and how it can be implemented. And I think it's the duty of the government also to explain to the people what is what are the clauses in it and how they beneficial they are. Uh, for another next uh, two, three years, what are the, some plans actually uh, planned from your side or which are supposed to be done by the government or the suggestion you would like to give to the government? You see, my MITAC is a program which I am involved in it, in which I am concentrating on upgrading the, the uh, different kind of handicraft and textile so that we can uh, have an international market for them. You know, because uh, a few things people buy as souvenirs. But I want to make it uh, the things like clothes and things which are, uh, which are, which can be marketed internationally and so that we can improve our exports also nationally as well as internationally. And I would like more tourism to be here. I'm trying to work out that uh, if there is a direct flight to Bombay. Because people from Mumbai can come and uh, invest money in Manipur, uh, in different kind of um, small scale industries or maybe uh, different kind of activities over here. So if there is a direct flight, then their time will be safe because people can't waste so much time in indirect flight coming from Mumbai to Calcutta and waiting over there and catching another flight. So, this is what now my aim is, my objectives. Ma'am, uh, you have been a very good parliamentarian and you have also won the best parliamentarian award in 2013. And uh, looking back to Manipur, Madam, uh, we actually had only two persons who were in the cabinet, say, uh, or the state of minister of whatsoever. We did have uh, R.K. Jaisandra and T.H. Chaub only. So, what is lacking with the politician today? so that you know they can come to the national scenario 
So, for instance, we used to have a minister from Manipur in the India government. Actually, we have only two seats because the representation of the members of parliament depends on the population of a state. Our population is only about 28 lakhs. So, there are only two people, one from inner and one from outer, the hill region and the valley. So, there are two people over there. Now, the, uh, my, as a deputy chairman, I have been for 17 years. I, my focus was that the members of parliament should participate. And when I was deputy chairman, I didn't even know that one day I'll be going to Northeast as a governor. I used to give a lot of chance to the representative from the Northeast to ask them, to give them a time to speak. Because, you know, in the parliament, they give time according to the strength of the party. That's how we distribute the time. Now, Manipur, if there are only two people, uh, one person from in Rajya Sabha and two in the Lok Sabha, I'm talking about Rajya Sabha, one person in four hour discussion will get one minute. What can he talk in one minute? So I used to sit late and give them more time to speak about the issues of, of the Northeast and uh, whichever state they are representing. So, if they participate in the committee meeting, they learn more, they look at the issues, they ask questions about the of Manipur or the whichever state they represent in the Northeast, then their participation will increase. And the focus of the people in Delhi will be more on the issues of the North. We are happy that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji himself talk about North East, that focus should be on North East. Here there is an opportunity for us to focus all these issues. They can take up the issues of the North East at different levels to the ministers, in the parliament, in the committees. There are a lot of opportunities that they have in Delhi to focus on the issues of their state. So finally, to wind up, Madam, what message or what do you want to say to the people of Manipur? I should uh, greet the people of Manipur. Happy Eid and wish them that they will just not celebrate the Environment Day as Environment Day, but do something to give to the nature in the form of tree plantation and be good citizens uh, and participate. Be, keep your area clean so the people can be more attracted to your state and there will be more tourism and more people will come to see your state and be happy. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thanks a lot. So we are very privileged to have today Honorable Governor Dr. Nasma Abur Ali Haftullah. So we are very fortunate today in, for Tom TV and for the people of Manipur. Thank you.